a Christmas wish for corduroy. Story by B. J. Hennessy. Pictures by Jody Wheeler. Based on the characters created by Don Freeman. One December afternoon, a toy bear in a big store was just waking up when he heard a mother asking a boy, Have you decided what you would like for Christmas yet? The bear sat a little taller and perked up his ears. Maybe this boy wanted a bear. But the boy zipped right by him and pointed to a bright red shiny fire engine. I'm going to ask Santa for a fire truck with a big ladder and a bell, the boy said. The bear watched sadly as the boy walked away. In the store that afternoon, the book at story time was about Santa and the elves at the North Pole. All the children were excited to make Christmas lists and visit Santa. Maybe I should visit Santa, the bear thought. I could ask him if he knows a girl or a boy who wants a bear. Tonight I will go see if I can find him. Just before closing time, a girl stopped right in front of the bear. Maybe she wants a bear, he hoped. But the girl pointed to a doll in a pink dress. Mommy, look, a pretty Piper doll. That is the doll I am going to ask Santa to bring me when I see him. Make sure you put her name on your list, dear, said her mother. And if you're going to see Santa, we should get you a special outfit. A special outfit? I didn't know I needed a special outfit to see Santa, thought the bear as he looked at his brown fur. Why, I don't have any clothes at all. And without a name... How can I ever be on anyone's Christmas list? Late that evening, when all the shoppers had gone home, the bear climbed down from his shelf. The store seemed much bigger without any people in it. There were strange shadows everywhere. The bear felt very small. He found a department that sold hats. Those hats look pretty special, he said. He tried on all kinds of hats, but none of them seemed quite right for a bear who was looking for Santa. Next to the hat department was the shoe department. A pair of shiny new shoes would make me look special, thought the bear, but all the shoes were much too big. Then he spotted the children's clothes department. Surely he would find an outfit there. But the only clothes his size were baby clothes. So the bear kept looking. Up ahead, he saw a sign with Santa's picture on it. 
This must be the way to the North Pole, he said. That's just where I want to go. He followed the signs until he almost bumped into a reindeer. The North Pole looks exactly like it did in the book, said the bear. There were trees with reindeer and a workshop for Santa. He went inside to take a look. This is a very little workshop, said the bear. He sat down in a chair. It was the perfect size. He looked around the room. There were small toys, tools, and even some elf clothes hanging on the wall. That gave him an idea. First, he tried on an elf hat, but his ears were too small. Then he tried on a pair of elf shoes, but his furry bear paws were too big. Finally, he tried on the elf clothes. They fit perfectly. Now, unbuttoning and buttoning anything with bear paws is not easy. And one button almost fell off before the bear finally got the overalls on. These overalls are just the right kind of special for me, thought the bear as he looked at himself in a mirror. Now I am ready to meet Santa. Then he noticed a big chair nearby. That must be Santa's chair, said the bear. I will wait here so I will be first in line when Santa comes. And then I can ask him for a little girl or a boy to take me home. By now, it was very late and the bear was very tired. He climbed up onto the chair and before too long, he was fast asleep. That is exactly where Santa found him the next morning. Good morning, little fellow. How did you get up on my chair? asked Santa. Those are some mighty fine green corduroy overalls you're wearing. A good-looking bear like you should be with the other toys. Mrs. Claus, would you Please bring Corduroy back to the toy department, asked Santa. Santa called me Corduroy, thought the bear. I have a name. Now I can be on someone's Christmas list. The bear was finally ready to tell Santa his Christmas wish. But before Corduroy could say a word, he was on his way back to the toy department with Mrs. Claus. Past the clothes, past the shoes, and past the hats, farther and farther away from Santa, until he was back where he started. We found Corduroy Bear on Santa's chair this morning, Mrs. Claus explained to the sales lady. Doesn't he belong in your department? The sales lady looked at Corduroy in his new green overalls. You do look familiar, she said as she put him back on the shelf. That is just where Corduroy Bear was later that day when a mother and daughter walked into the toy department.
The little girl stopped and looked straight into Corduroy's bright eyes. Oh, Mommy, she said. Look, there's the very bear I've always wanted. Her smile made Corduroy feel more special than all the names and outfits combined. This must be what Christmas feels like, thought Corduroy. And he smiled his best bear smile right back. The end. I hope you've enjoyed this story, A Christmas Wish for Corduroy. Grandma absolutely loves, loves, loves this story. This story about corduroy has been around for a very long time. In fact, Grandma's mom used to read this story to me <laughs> when I was little. So that tells you how long this story's been around. And I read it to my children, and my children will read it to theirs. So this is a story that goes on and on. And I always wanted to help Corduroy by fixing the button on his overalls. <laughs> now, click that thumbs up button and let Grandma know how much you like this story. And also, let me know, is there a story that your mom reads to you that maybe her mom read to her? That's always fun to know because there's a lot of books that have been around for a very long time. I'll make sure you come back for more stories. Bye, Grandma.